now gay marriage is is uh, legal here in the state of Arizona. The story, the, the bigger story in the Republic is that Republicans don't seem to know what to do now that the Supreme Court has, in this case, refused to speak because the core, they, and this may or may not be true, the core of Republican voters are against same-sex marriage. And so the candidates that are running, in your case as Attorney General, in, in, uh, in Doug Ducey's case as Governor, they don't really know how to react to this. Um, so... Is that true or not? Do you know how to react to this? Well, well, you know, the funny thing is, is I had a reporter within hours of um, that decision literally come up and talk to me as I was walking to meet my wife for lunch. Um, so they know how to get to us. We released, we issued a press release statement within hours. And this is what I've said consistently. Um, there are a lot of issues. And it's not just to me. This is a broader question, a broader issue. We saw it recently with the Ninth Circuit in Prop 100, where they overturned Arizona's voters' will, where we wanted to deny bail to folks that were brought in or folks that were in this country illegally. And, you know, that issue is going to, I think, be appealed. And it's important. It bothers me when courts undermine the will of Arizona voters. And I think whether you agree with an issue or not, I think that's a dangerous precedent that we basically defer in our republic to a bunch of unelected judges to decide these important issues for us. It should be up to the people to decide. And I think whether you're so many issues facing us right now are not issues of right and left or issues of right and wrong. And I think that we shouldn't, the court shouldn't do that.